human life is an ideological flow, a movement from crudity to subtlety. In that movement, living beings find themselves along a continuum. Human beings find themselves situated according to their intentions and desires. Those who have come from animal lives and have recently taken human form often find that their desires continue to be for physical fulfillments, food, clothing, shelter, and enjoyments, pleasures of the body and mind. But as these pleasures are pursued, life upon life, the same cycle occurs, birth, the struggle to achieve, to fulfill one's goals, and death. There comes a point when the longing in the human heart, the desire for deep fulfillment, the desire to know the Supreme, awakens in the human mind and the human heart, and there is a longing that draws a person beyond the physical pleasures, beyond the psychic achievements, the achievements of ego in the world. Those desires, those achievements become less significant. And with age, they also become less significant. What you do, what you accomplish, how much respect and approval you receive, though important, begin to dim somewhat in the face of the reality of life, the shortness of human life, and the departure. When you begin to analyze what it is that is really important to you, you come to see that the love that you have shared, those who have truly loved you and who you truly love, become significant. And the mission you have taken on in your life, for Dharma, for Guru, that becomes significant. <clears throat> the things you have accomplished, the securities you have built are important, but they are not the core of your life, the core of your purpose. The enjoyments of day-to-day -day life are important. But again, they do not fulfill your purpose. They do not bring you to the shores of the infinite. This longing for the great, longing to return to your natural state of being, to a state of unconditioned love, infinite 
undying. Merger with the divine to bridge the gap between yourself and that infinite whole of being, that beloved of your heart, your Baba, your Ma, your one eternal self. That desire over lifetimes grows in magnitude. The pleasures of the world begin to diminish and the soul's longing becomes more dominant. Then as the cycles of a life are lived, the soul's longing takes you. It brings you into the sphere of that divine beloved. That one takes form in your life, takes form in your heart. That all you want is unity with that eternal love, with the beloved of your heart. How to do this? How to give away the dream of duality in this very life? Don't wait for death thinking, if I die, I will gain liberation. It is something for this very life. Are you prepared? Are you ready to accept that divinity in your life? To give way to that unitary wholeness, to that love beyond description. Let it fill your life. so that all you see around you is the beloved of your heart, taking all the forms of creation, and that you live in that non-duality of existence. While you live in this relative world, don't wait for death. Liberation is for now. What does it mean, liberation? Enlightenment. To live in the light. In the light. What prevents you from this very experience here and now? Why do you wait? Do you think this is for someone else? You think this is something to be achieved in your next life or at your death? Is it even an achievement? Can you achieve enlightenment? There is a very contradictory experience of that. For to be one with eternal being, the I, who is the achiever, must let go, dissolve all achievements, dissolve all separate identity. Are you ready? Feel inside yourself. Is there resistance to this? Why? 
are you preventing this in your life? You are already one with the infinite. It is your very own nature. Your beloved Baba is not a person who lived in India and died. Your beloved Baba lives in your heart. Your beloved Ma lives in your heart. Not in some external form. It is the self of yourself. This unitary whole of being. This aware consciousness. This infinite love. However words describe the undescribable, the undefinable by the mind. That is your own nature. It's who you really are. You hide from yourself. You hide in the world of forms and desires. You believe yourself to be the needs, the desires, the efforts, and the achievements. Who is desiring? Who is achieving? You believe yourself to be a separate person doing all of these things, the doer of everything. It is a habit, a habit of awareness, of being, of Parama Purusha embodied in form, to identify with form, to identify as the body, the mind, the individuality rather than as the whole of being, that which embodies in the body and the mind. There is only one, one entity, one consciousness, one love, one self. Are you willing to let go of the dream? Are you willing to stand in the light, to be enlightened? Are you willing to acknowledge your own nature? Infinite being, the guru whom you love, is your own self, not your pride of ego or body identity. These are limitations you have told yourself. The guru of your heart is your soul, your essence, is who you are. Are you willing to fall back into that truth, to let go of pride. Humility is often a form of pride. Oh, I cannot say that. It would not be humble. To think I am the embodiment of the infinite. It is sacrilegious 
Is it not? Heresy. Are you willing to let go of false identities? Even false humility, humility and acknowledge the divine essence that lives in the body-mind you have identified with and in the body-mind of all beings that is the very substance of all creation. Appearing to be many, the one abides. Accept who you are, what you are. Accept your own nature. Accept the infinite grace of your divine Gurudev. The self of yourself fall back into your true self. Enlighten your mind. Let go of illusion. Acknowledge the unity of love. Love without boundaries. Love that never changes, that is eternal, aware, love that knows no limit, that dances in the dance of all creation. Being born, preserving, living, dancing in form, and returning, dissolving into truth. Are you willing what you long for already is? It is the truth of your being, the truth of your soul. The truth of love. It isn't in the future or the past or on some mountain top or in India. It's here now. in the essence of you. It's here now, in the love, in the infinite, in the self. There is no separation except the dream you hold to. Can you let it go? Let those beliefs all the way. Very good, very good. Remember. All right. Namaskar. Mm-hmm.